And here's my birth plan. I want to have natural childbirth. Ah, it's your first baby. It's fine. Take your time. Stay at home. Give me the epidural. Give me the drugs. That'll be $90,000. <laughs> Hi. Hello. You guys, it's been 11 years since we became parents. And we still don't know what we're doing. No idea. Lola is turning 11 mm. years old. Yeah. And I get very emotional. I know. And so we do this every single birthday. We, we look at baby pictures. I know. We do. And I don't know why this year has been like even more momentous. Maybe it's because you got to use three hands to count her age or. I don't know. She's great and wonderful. But the way she came into this world, mm -hmm. mm, a little it's a good rough. Story. So, dream yeah. sequence. So let's, let's take you back. Take let's you back. Let's take you back to like before Lola was born when our bedroom was just filled with books about how to be a mom. How many books did you buy? I bought 47,000 books you, about yeah. being pregnant and about giving birth yeah. and I read every single one of them. Yeah, and I would be walking through the house and you'd be like, oh, page 47 of Dr. McKillicuddy's domination baby book. It says I have to play classical music at all times and also think positive thoughts. Like there were these books saying that if you just went like this. That, that made me look very constipated. But well, no, those were my positive thoughts, right? Yeah, yeah, I took it very seriously and I really, and I wanted to experience natural childbirth. Okay, this part was nuts and you started talking about that very early. Yeah, yeah I and, really and wanted to experience it. You were like, this will help connect me to women who give birth this way for all of humanity. My baby will not be medicated. I'm gonna be natural, super natural. There were like things swirling in the background. No, I just, I <laughs> felt like I really wanted to experience it. You know what yeah. I mean? And Pat, he, he was very sweet. He was very cautious. He was like, hey, so you realize <laughs> you don't have to do this. Like I've seen the YouTube videos on this and it is gross and it is, Terrible. You should definitely have backup options. And it offended me a little, I have to say. Like, he didn't think I could take it. So in hindsight, were you, are you still offended or? I mean, I you, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> Do you maybe wish you would have listened a little more to that? I'm just saying, people, let's, let's talk about the next part of the story. Well, I had a yeah. birth plan. Yeah. I had it like typed oh out. Here's my birth plan. I want to have natural childbirth. I want my baby brought into the world, listening to soothing jazz music, and I want it to be in a blanket made entirely out of yak fur. I had a birth plan and labor started and it, it was I was feeling all of the things that happen when you go into labor <laughs> naturally. Best laid plans. Yeah and uh, I called the doctor and I was like hey I think this baby's coming soon and the doctor was obviously at a cocktail party <laughs> because he's like ah it's your first baby it's fine take your time stay at home stay at home this is gonna take forever take your take your time it's it's your first baby. Yeah and so how fun is it taking your time when you're going through labor? I don't know and, and he just talked about how long it was gonna be. Yeah. So we stayed at home and I was continuing to feel. I didn't know what to do. Like I, I could not do it. Like I've, Kim has actually had me simulate labor. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, and this is not anything compared to what you were going through sitting on yeah. our couch. Then it got to the point where we're like, okay, it's four o'clock in the morning. You're in a lot of pain. We're going to the hospital. So yeah, we get to the hospital and I'm feeling everything yeah. because I want to have natural childbirth, yeah. but I'm not in a great state of mind. We walk into this like trendy New York City hospital and the nurse is like, Ugh. <laughs> um, we'll try to get you a room, I guess, but I am having the worst day. Oh my gosh, <sighs> she actually, no, she, I remember she said this and I, she walked out and I'm like, did that lady just tell my wife who's like, they had this little pain chart, was like the highest possible in the pain chart, that she was having a tough day. Yep. That's what she said. Yeah. I remember, I remember, I remember like it was yesterday. Yes. So nobody was really paying attention to us. You're right. And I, you know, you hand them like a typewritten birth plan and yeah. they're like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're, you're in New York, lady. <laughs> they did not care about my birth plan. Nobody was really paying. I was paying attention. You were paying attention. I was paying attention. But the nurse was like, this is your first baby. It's yeah. going to take a lot, a lot of time. So like maybe an hour later, it was not long. You just grabbed me by my shirt and you were like, give me the epidural. Give me the drugs. 
Get this baby out of me! Like it was, it was like one of those movie scenes where like, but it actually was coming true. And so that uh, we got a nurse to come in and examine you again. And this part is nuts. She goes, uh, no, we can't give you an epidural. It's too late because this baby is about to be born. Like fully dilated, meaning she could have been fully dilated for a long time and they were just ignoring you. That part makes me angry. Well, you're yeah. very sweet. The baby's coming. The baby is in Lola. The baby's coming and she goes, uh, we have to call the doctor, just don't push. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I'll stop pushing. And literally, you were pushing. I was pushing. The doctor walked in in street clothes, like in it, like he straight from a cocktail party at I'm, 6:55 a.m. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He snaps on his gloves, mm -hmm. catches our baby girl. Lola was born at 6:59 a.m. Yes. He, four minutes after. Yeah, and he's like, "That'll be ninety thousand dollars." <laughs> Um, catches our beautiful baby girl, and literally, I mean, our world changed. Yeah, and it was it was, it was so like. <sighs> Look at these pictures. So like, we're th this is the best part. Like Lola as a baby was a chunky little adorable little chunk, and now she is. Look at her now. I, I don't know. even know what to do with myself. And the way she came into the world was so special. But the way that Pin Charles came into the world was very different because I walked into the hospital back. <laughs> and first. you were like, you were like, okay, cocktail party starting. Give I me. I, I, I need an extra epidural. I didn't have any last time. I think you can give me two. You yeah. walked in backwards. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. like, please put the epidural right there. Oh gosh. In hindsight, I'm glad I got to. No, I don't need a phone. Glad I got to experience it. I experienced <laughs> natural childbirth. Yes, it happened. It happened. That's the best thing you can say about the experience is that it, it happened. It happened. We didn't sleep. We had no idea what we were doing. We still have no idea what we're doing. That is accurate. But she's grown into just the most mature and kind person. She's definitely the nicest one in our family, mm -hmm. like without a doubt, yes. and the most mature one. Yes. Um, and we love her so much, and I can't believe she's 11. Happy birthday, baby girl. Happy birthday, baby girl.